Hey y'all, how's it going? So this is our presentation. It's going to be, are you in the know? It's going to be presented by Level 2s from Team 4. Uh, my name's Josh, uh, ISI for Accounting. Um, and Team 7, I'm Hannah, and ISI for Global Issues and Political Science. And I'm also Team 7, and I am Zach Loftus, and ISR for Introduction to Landforms and Physical Geology. So let's go a little bit over an overview first before we actually start getting into some of these slides. So in this overview, it's kind of going to be a little brief summary, kind of a little introduction to um, some information. So we're going to be going over what we know, what we wish we knew, what we've learned so far, and we'll kind of wrap it up with a summary. And if you have any questions, we'll be more than happy to take them at the end. What did, do we know as new SI leaders? So you guys know that you guys must hold three one-hour sessions a week, and we all sit in these classes we SI for, and we also use creative learning techniques in our sessions. All right, so what we wish we knew as SI leaders, right? Uh, so payroll, that's a big one. That's how we get paid. Um, and I know a lot of the times when we're first doing it, it can be really overwhelming. So right here we have a chart um, with activity hours, right? So for sitting in your SI class, you get three hours. For holding your sessions, you get three hours. And then you get four admin hours, which include staff meetings, assignments, and attendance submissions. Um, another question a lot of us oftentimes have is, what do I do if there's a holiday, right? Uh, you don't log any of your hours unless they are admin hours. Cool, so let's go a little bit over um, making connections too, right? So you're trying to make connections with your students. So as far as trying to learn their names, um, greeting them when you walk in the hallways or you see them in class, or even if that means just getting to class 10 minutes beforehand, just so you're the first face that they see when they walk inside of the class. So another good way to do this would be some different and fun advertising techniques. Maybe you do a PowerPoint or you do a flyer or something and you hang it out in class. Another way that you can do is kind of similar to bribing them, but if you were to bring candy or pizza or like a snack to some of your SI sessions, that might be a good way to entice some more students to actually come into your sessions, right? And then another way that you can do this is actually going over like what you do inside your SI sessions, right? So are you doing jigsaws? Are you doing clusters? Are you doing cahoots? Different study techniques that you could be using. And so this is just a whole bunch of stuff that you can keep in mind as far as getting people to come to your actual sessions. Um, also, we um, wish we would have known to always be prepared for sessions ahead of time because it's better to be over prepared than under prepared, especially if you have a lot of course material to go over. It's best to have a lesson plan and where your time is planned out for every second of your session. And also to have questions at the end where students can ask questions if needed. Right, so when you go to your SI class, you know, I know a lot of us are really busy, but you know, make sure you pay attention to your SI class. Uh, oftentimes the professor is gonna go over something that you might not be as familiar with because you know, it's been a while since you've heard the professor talk about it, and students will ask you for clarification about some of those topics at the sessions, so it's good to hear what the professor's saying, you know, be prepared and have a contingency plan at your sessions as well. Right, and I think one of the most important things here is just have fun, honestly, because a lot of the times people are coming to you because they need help in a certain class or they need help with a certain chapter or a subject, right? So having fun with your activities and your peers and everything, that's going to be a really key component as, as far as getting people to actually come back to your sessions, right? So that's throwing something silly in there or just trying to get like on a personal basis with maybe some of your students, right? Get to know them a little bit better and let them get to know you a little bit better. And ultimately, there's all these connections between the teacher to the students, the students to the SI leader, and the SI leader to the professor, right? And so this is all going to encompass the actual course material, and it's really going to help each other if all three components are working together. Because if you're missing that one link, then that course material has room to escape, so to speak. But if you put it together and you have a good connection between the students and the professor, and the SI leader is also a component of that, then the course material is captured in, and you can also share not only the information that you have, 
but some of the information that you might have learned from your professor or getting inside of your actual SI sessions in your classes. And what we've learned as SI leaders, um, your best procrastination is never your best effort, so always prepare. Um, use your resources to your advantage. Your SI team and leaders are here to help you. Definitely work for, with your professor because they'll be able to give you tips and tricks on your sessions as well. And when you need to, definitely ask for help. Right, so summary, uh, we did an overview of what we were going to talk about, right? Uh, we talked about what we already know as SI leaders. Uh, we talked about what we wish we knew as SI leaders, uh, what we learned in this summary. Do you have any questions? <laughs>